Hello, and welcome to coverage of the Sitecorp Swiss Open for Custom Standard. I'm Caillou, and today we're going to be playing the round one match between uh, me, Caillou, on blue-red invoke combo, and Ruben, who's on green-red midrange. So, my deck is essentially a combo deck which aims to take uh, infinite turns using a card called Invoke Gauntlets. Basically, um, it's a six-mana card, you cast it, look at the top eight cards of your library, put a creature and an instant or sorcery from them, uh, or you put the creature on the battlefield, just, uh, instant or sorcery into exile, um, and whenever that creature deals combat damage to an opponent, um, you can cast that spell. So basically you get an extra turn spell, get an evasive cr creature, preferably with haste, and then go ham. <laughs> um, on Ruben's side, Ruben has been basically playing like a fair deck, which aims to like out aggro. Um, I think I should generally be fine um, in all honesty, uh, the reason being that Ruben doesn't have any instant speed interaction in the main board. Um, in the sideboard, I feel pretty comfortable um, in the sense of, like, out of the side, I don't think that there's anything I have to be worried about. Uh, and Ruben is probably faster than me, but then I don't, I don't feel particularly worried about that. So let's look at this hand. Um, is it keepable? Um, I'd say so. I do want... Huh. I do think uh, Gift of the Phoenix is going to hurt having all these extra turn spells, I think. But then having Gift of the Phoenix does allow me to cantrip into something, so maybe I just do that. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try this. Um... I do want to invoke in this hand, and having only one cantrip does suck. Spell Moss should hopefully help. Let's keep here. Um, so I think turn one, do I want to Umber Steps? I think no. Turn one, let's play the Spindling Nimbus. Then next turn I can give to the Phoenix, or if I draw into the, like uh, an Imperial Prosperity, I can play the Imperial Prosperity instead. Hopefully Ruben doesn't have a one drop. Yep, doesn't have a one drop. Cool. So I can feel reasonably comfortable. <sighs> Another seize tomorrow, really not what I want to be hitting. Um, so I think I'll play the Umber Steps. Gonna give to the Phoenix right here, discarding one of the seize tomorrows. Take two damage, and then I'm gonna draw two. Let's see, I hit a mountain, and whoops, <laughs> Another mountain. Okay, well I'm set on lands. <laughs> um, Kind of not what I want though. I think probably on end I just crack. Do I crack this? I think I crack this on end to get a double blue. So Ruben taps out for Spore Flow Protector. Scary, but I don't think I'm super worried about it. So yeah, I think on end. Gonna grab my second Spindling Nimbus and then just pass. Okay, um, who another gift. So I think what I want to do, though, is, um, I think play Spellma, and then next turn I can play Gift if I need to. Ruben can kill my, I think taking time to kill my Spellma is uh, something I'm fine with. So I'm going to play a land, tap three. Spell Ma. Um, discard. Do I discard the Patriarch or the Seas tomorrow? I think I discard the Patriarch. Um, and the Patriarch is just like a good win con. And it is fat. Um, I am two lands off of it though, rather than the Seas tomorrow. So I think I'll discard. No. Telkite Patriarch. Um, how much do I want this? I'll discard the Hellkite Patriarch. And start combat. So attack. And I get a draw card. Beetle Prosperity. Pretty good. So go to end. So I think that means next turn I can untap, safely just cast some, cast Eon Craft, and then go in with some other stuff. If Ruben does have removal for spell mod is sad. 
but sometimes that's just how it be. I am worried about having two of my creatures and three of my extra turn spells and stuff I've drawn already. Which means if I do get an invoke, it is harder to go off. I am giving Ruben a lot of fuel for support flow as well. So just gonna swing in for two with a spore flow. I'll take it. Uh, mean two tapping out for Shemesh or something. Antaraki Dryad. Interesting. Okay. So let's see what I hit. Another gift of the Phoenix. Interesting. Um. So what do I discard here? Um. I think I discard gift. Um, or I could go for a risky play and then play a uh, Gift of the Phoenix, discard something, and then hope to draw into another land and cast Eoncraft. I think it's better to just discard, um, discard a gift. Or do I want to dig? How badly do I want to dig for, um... Yeah, I think I'll actually I'll discard seas tomorrow. Okay, so swung in for two with the spell maw. I'm drawing a card, it's an island. Um main two. Let's tap out for this Eon Craft. Then main. Um let's see. I'm gonna Imperial Prosperity, draw a card, create token, treasure. Um, so next up, hmm. do I play the island so that I can seize tomorrow next turn or do I just like double Gift of the Phoenix here or something? Let's give to the Phoenix first main. You know what? What the hell? Um, give to the Phoenix. I'll discard Seize tomorrow. There's Invoke. Okay. And two lands. So then... Put that away. Um, minus two myself. Do I need attack in with Spellmaw to draw something? Um, or would I prefer to keep something in my deck with Invoke? Um, I don't know, honestly. Hmm. I think drawing is good. Uh, no, actually, it's not really relevant in this matchup, so I could just hold it back as a blocker. Mm. Oh, what the hell. Um, I'll discard. I think discarding gift makes more sense here. And then attack in for two. Okay, hit a mountain. Not super great. Probably would prefer the gift, but that's fine. So hopefully next turn this goes... Um, hopefully next turn I can go invoke into, you know, something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruben gets a plus one, plus one counter on Trocket, right? I don't think, even if I had 14, I think at 14 life I'm relatively safe here with Ruben only having a maximum of five mana, can pump twice and then let's say swing out for three, seven, which puts me dead in two turns. But then I can hold back Spellma as a blocker and then try to hit something off Invoke, basically. So he's gonna swing out for five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm, I think I'm pretty fine with that. Main two, play a scary creature. Three, four, Shemesh. Phoenix Flames, killing my Spell Maw. That's fine. I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I do want it as a blocker. What this does mean, though, is uh, do I die next turn? No, I don't think so. 
Not necessarily. Um, or maybe I do. <laughs> Wait, math is for blockers. Or math is for me not dying. Uh, Hellkite, I wanted to have that on top. Oh no. Well, so now the question is, should I go for the safe route of playing Hellkite and having a blocker? Um, or should I play Invoke here? Um, so if I play Hellkite here as a blocker, I don't think anything in Ruben's deck can get over it. And then I can just uh, block one of these. And next turn, let's say Ruben, so, that, so this becomes a 4-3. can pump this up um, twice, make it uh, 4, and then I'll be down to... I'll be down to like dead to like Phoenix Flames to face, which is not a good place to be. Could also just die to like that same line by like germinating onto Ontrocky Dryad or like whichever. If I, I I'll be forced to block Ontrocky Dryad, then can like germinate twice onto or germinate once on Ontrocky Dryad, kill my Hellkite. So I think I just go for it. Let's do it. Let's roll the dice, baby. So I hit a Seize tomorrow, and I hit a Stalmont Crocodile, this is game. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, because now what happens is, Stalmont Crocodile, I can discard a card to make it unblockable. Um, Ruben doesn't have any instant speed interaction, and I just cast Seize tomorrow infinitely. Yeah, Ruben was thinking of making a Sapperling, but yeah, that's not a possible line. So now we get into sideboarding. So let me quickly look at what Ruben has in his sideboard. So out of the sideboard has two shock, which can ruin my plan at instant speed. Um, I don't think I care about anything else out of Ruben's sideboard. So maybe what I should do is uh, uh, swap out my uh, Spellmock Crocodiles for monstrous apexes, and then I don't think I have to care about anything else that Ruben has. And I can just kind of go ham. Um, I can also swap out the make, because I don't need hexproof, I can swap out the make way um, for a flamestorm, just in case to kill Ruben's board if he gets too uppity. <laughs> um, I think that's about all I need. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty good. Main, don't want to ruin the ratios of stuff I have, so yeah, I think I'm just going to go with that. Okay, so I have Invoke, did draw one of my things. Ah, it's kind of sus. I do need to, and I like having... I don't know, should I keep this? I think it's risky to do so, especially with like Hmm. I think I will keep though, because I have the flame storm to be able to like hold off for time. I just need to get to six lands for the invoke, um, and hopefully a combo off like last time. Okay. He doesn't have Ruben. Doesn't have a turn one play. That's good for me. No, I'm drawing another. Wish I had a way to shuffle those back into my deck, like some sort of cantrip. Actually, no, I don't have any reason to do that right now, because I want to draw more lands. So I think I only do that um, I only do that uh, after drawing on my turn. So yeah. So Ruben taps to Amurabi's Disciple. Um, <sighs> grows Ruben's board very quickly. Definitely scary. No, I keep, I keep hitting stuff that I really don't want to have here. Um, and yeah, I think I play another Umber Steps, and then go to End. And the problem with like stuff like Monsters Apex and Charging Primadox is that I can't like, I can't hard cast them. Like, I can hard cast Hellkite, but not the others. Okay, Con and War Driver. Um, yeah, I think once again... Let's go to tap, draw a card, hit a mountain. That's nice. I'll just play the mountain and pass. Obviously, I would really like to be hitting like a currency or some sort of like, um, like any sort of cantrip here. 
would be lovely. But, you know, that's just how it goes when you're playing a combo deck which requires you to play like so many A plus B pieces which don't do anything else. Sometimes you can just get wrong halved. So that is three out of my seven targets gone from the deck. It's definitely a harrowing proposition. Oh no, I shouldn't have done this because if Ruben assaults Amurabi's Disciple, I dodges my Flamestorm. That's not good. I should have just done it last turn. I have to hope that Ruben gets greedy and like taps out for something else. Okay, swinging out. Is he gonna assault? Yeah, he's gonna assault. Damn. So I take seven. Oh, that's a problem. That really is a problem. I really should have done that last, done the flame storm last turn. Because now I can't kill it. Not without like another, I don't have another flame storm. So I just kind of have to, I don't think I can outrace this, honestly. Um, yeah, on end, I guess I just crack both of these. So, yeah, not flamestorming last turn was a bad call. I do have, like, enough lands to maybe survive. So I guess the question is, like, is flamestorming now worth it? Because it just takes two damage off the board. Um, I need a hope to draw into a land next turn. Or, like, even next turn. Hmm. So wait, so I'll take two damage next turn. You know what, screw it. It's a single target removal spell, but I just need to do it. I really should have done this earlier. It was such a mistake not to, because I didn't realize it counted itself. But yeah. I'm still dead in two turns. Um, which means I need a hit. Actually, no, I don't think there's any way I can win. I'm... Uh, Unless I hit like an extra, actually if I hit an extra turn spell and then into a land, then I can win. If I hit like, um, the time warp equivalent, essentially. Okay, Hunter Seeker. Yeah, yeah. Phoenix Flames, yeah, that puts me down to one life. I am dead next turn, so I need to hit that off the top of my library. Currency. So wait, what can I do with this? Um, oh, I can, I can try. So what I do is, I play currency right here. And then I tap four for Eon Craft. Um, create another treasure token. And then I have the chance to to do it. Okay, let's try. Let's roll the dice. Um yeah, charging primadox plus seize tomorrow. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, what a rush. Oh yeah, that was scary. Cause I was, I was, oh, I was so dead that turn if I didn't have something, and that was the, that was one of the one that was one of my outs.